Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Come at you with a contest response for Mr. Fisher Bike. He is trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could help him out and help him get up there. But he'd like to at least be able to get to 900, but the main goal uh, we're shooting for is 1,000 for him. And uh, he's been doing YouTube uh, longer than I have, uh, has a lot better collection, I'd say, uh, picks up all kinds of stuff. Um, he's primarily, you know, a Red Sox uh, guy, but he does have other PCs and still picks up some really cool stuff. So uh, it's definitely well worth your time to go check out his channel and his videos. I think you'd really like him. And uh, if you're not subscribed, it'll be another baseball card uh, related channel for you to check out. So for his contest response, there are two uh, things that he wants us to do. Uh, one is to show off our top five cards in our collection that aren't necessarily PC, but top five we think, you know, whether to us or uh, value. So, um, I picked out five that came to mind real quick for me. Um, this first one is a 1968 Topps football of Bart Starr. Um, it books because somebody wrote a four on the back. I think last time I looked at the book value was like 25 bucks. But to me, uh, this was the first uh, vintage football card I ever owned in my life. Um, my grandma bought a ton of old 80s and 90s uh, baseball, football, a few basketball and hockey cards mixed in from a thrift store down the road. And um, she surprised us one Christmas morning. There's like five boxes or something like that. And we got to all go through them, but she saved a two row football box uh, for me to go through on my birthday. And I happened to find that Bart Star, I thought it was the coolest thing ever because I had heard uh, talk from you know my grandparents talking about Bart Star and stuff because uh, you know that was the era that they grew up in, that they heard of him. So uh, I thought that was the coolest thing. It's kind of sad that somebody wrote on it, but um, to me, that's a super valuable card uh, to myself. And I've don't ever want to get rid of it if, if at all possible so um, I keep that one my collection that one's be number five next up is uh, number four is a Chris Sale autograph from 2014 tops I think tribute yep number the 99 this was given to me by Ty Hawkins uh, for uh, Christmas a few years ago surprised me with this one never had a Chris Sale autograph and uh, he's you know he's a pretty solid pitcher. I, to me, that's like one of my nicer autographs that I have. That's a certified item. So um, I have to pull that one out. I have that one displayed on uh, the shelf up above there. Uh, next up, this was also a gift from somebody, and I don't know why I'm blanking on who sent it to me, but I'm sure if they still watch this video, they'll know that they sent it. But the number to 15, Marcus Allen, illustrious from Upper Deck, autograph, really cool card. Um, it's just really nice. So, I've, of course, I don't have any Marcus Allen. It's a actually it's an autograph jersey piece. I don't have any Marcus Allen um, autographs. I don't have any nice Marcus Allen cards like this. So. I'm going to put that at number three because that's really cool. I also, pretty much most of these cards are displayed up there, at least three of the five. Then next up, this was a gift from my mom many years ago. Um, she told me, you know, as I learned about football more and the NFL stars, you know, at a young age, uh, they told me about Joe Namath. And I try and get his cards, they're way too expensive, you know, 10, 11 year old kid, 12 year old kid, whatever I was. Uh, I'm not going to be able to afford that. Um, but she surprised me. She got into an eBay bidding war and got this for, I think, Christmas actually. Either Christmas or birthday gift. 68 Tops of Mr. Joe Namath. And I think we paid just under 25 bucks for it, if I remember right. Uh, it books, you know, 40, 50 bucks. But to me, you know, it's priceless. So, um,. That's just a cool card. It's in pretty nice shape for a 68 card as well. 
Um, so somebody took at least decent care of it. So that, that's always a really cool one of mine. Then, the number one, this is also from Ty Hawkins. He had an extra one. He's just like, I'm going to send you this. I was like, dude, you don't have to. This, this card is super expensive. Um, especially graded right now, but I have it raw. But he's, he wanted to send it, so, um, you know, it's not in the greatest a shape, like a problem with cement for grading, but um, the card is really cool no matter what, and I always want to make sure, I always try to make sure I keep the stuff that people send to me. Uh, as long as it doesn't get lost in the shuffle somewhere, I always try to keep that stuff separate. So, I still have this card, and it's a 93 SP rookie card of Mr. Derek Jeter. And the bottom, you know, it's got some scuffing and stuff, but um, he he upgraded his, and he wanted to send me this one, uh, one Christmas, the same day that Chris Sale came, and it was a really huge, awesome surprise. So... Um, really thankful that uh, he even considered to send me that card so that's definitely got to be uh, my number one for sure because that, that was a really cool card to get back and then the second part of the contest is to shout out a couple YouTubers who um, you think deserve to have more subscribers so I was going to go with a couple of TTM uh, guys that I like to watch on a regular basis. I think uh, Scott Spaulding should have a whole lot more uh, subs than he does. Uh, he does, you know, not only TTM mail days, he does pack openings and box openings. Uh, he does a few pickup videos, you know, what you might find on eBay or, or whatnot. And uh, he does a really great job. And then uh, we really miss, you know, obviously with this whole virus thing going on, we miss being able to see those videos with Sarah. But uh, I think he should get some more subs, and there's plenty of videos you can go back and his older stuff and watch and be well entertained. And he just, you know, he's just having a great time uh, sharing cards with you, um, just like myself. You know, I don't have a necessarily a particularly valuable collection, I would say, uh -huh, monetarily. But, you know, they're special to me, and they're special to him, and that's what makes all these videos fun. And then uh, next up, a guy who really doesn't get as much attention, I don't think, is 757 Graphs. I call him the IP Auto King. Now, I don't know how that's going to translate to for him this year uh, with the virus again going on, but uh, he's been uh, in its place uh, sending out lots of TTMs lately. And he's been doing recaps. And he's been getting some nice stuff in. A lot of, mostly baseball, but he does get, you know, he gets hockey, football, and basketball every now when he gets to go to those games or events that might have those guys there but mostly it's going to be baseball but it does a really good job and uh, it's all kinds of people and I think it'd be well worth your time to go check his channel out as well so those are two guys that I think really deserve uh, some more subs so their links will be right down below under Jason's which is Mr. Fisher Bikes channel and please make sure you go subscribe to all three of those uh, I'd really appreciate it and congrats in advance uh, to your sub count Jason and uh, hopefully uh, you get those cards here that I sent you real soon as well so talk to you later guys and thank you for watching bye